All right, Andre, uh, how's it going? You know, yeah, just asked Austin about it, and it sounds like the defensive line did really well in the scrimmage. So I guess just kind of what do you think you guys did so well, and where would you evaluate where you guys are at where you compared to where you want to be? Um, I definitely think we're we're getting there. Uh, you know, we, we strive for uh, perfection. So um, we always try to find something to get better at every day. Um, the scrimmage, was, we did really good. You know, we came out there as a group um, and just did our thing. We did what we were supposed to to help the defense out. Um, came in uh, with a, a mindset that and uh, Coach Andre, he challenged us um, to set the tone. Um, and that's and that's what we did. And we just fed off the energy and the whole defense just really kind of fed off our energy as a D line as a whole. So that's what we we kind of strive for. You know, we the we the front the front men of the whole defense. So um, so we try to set that that tempo that uh, tone. Hey Andre Jacques from uh, WAFB here in Baton Rouge. Uh, speaking of Austin, he says you guys are so deep. It's almost like you can take one D line and put in a whole other group and, and not miss a step. So how deep is the D line at this point? Deep in every position. <laughs> uh at defensive end, nose, uh, tackle, we, we we are definitely deep. And like Austin, that's what that's what we stride ourselves on. Um it should be no difference. If somebody gets out of the game, it should be the same thing. It shouldn't lack um, and no area like when somebody else gets out, it's the same thing. You, we all we all starters, you know what I'm saying. So um, and that's what we try to uh, harp on all the time. You know what I'm saying. It should be no different. It shouldn't be in a case where if somebody else gets in, it's like okay, we're going to attack them. Like no, we all we all the same. Um, you can't you can't. It's no weakness, no weak links. So. Hey Andre, this is uh, Josh Sibley with Louisiana Grand Football. Um, Coach O said you guys obviously shine during the scrimmage. Um, what knowledge has uh, Coach Carter imparted on you? And have you actually had a chance yet to uh, sit down with Coach Jones and, and kind of pick his brain? Um, Coach Andre just, you know, me and, me being one of the veterans in the room, just uh, just taking control of that room, man. Um, I, like, you know, I've been here for a while, so I kind of know how, how it goes, you know. So um, just being a leader, uh, that vocal um, leader, um, leading by example, uh, whatever the case may be, and just showing them, you know, how it goes. And whether if I'm, I'm making plays, they feeding off me. Or shoot, look, if I make a play, one of them want to make a play. Not, not as my turn off. One of them, like, look, I'm next. I'm coming. Um, I'm coming too. So we just kind of feed off of each other's uh, energy, and that's all. You know, um, credit to Coach Carter. That's how it's, he he told us. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, we feed off of each other each other's energy. And um, as far as Coach Jones, man. Uh, we had a meeting in uh, spring and just sat down and picked his brain a little bit and we talked about how stuff is in the, in the league and stuff and how what he had planned for the defense and um, what he needed from me as a leader and it, it was a, a great meeting, you know, um, a great meeting, a real good meeting. Hey Andre, this is uh, Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, I wanted to ask you about a couple of freshmen who maybe have blown a little bit under the radar, um, Savion Jones and Bryce Langston just what have you seen from those two guys as they've gotten to camp? And, and obviously they could maybe get buried a little bit under the deep depth chart, but get their future outlook with this program. Oh, they definitely have a um, future. Uh, both of them uh, came in, uh, picked up quick. Um, they definitely picked up quick for us, like the defenses. Um, the things that we do up front, they picked up on it uh, quick. Um, and they learn fast, so that's that's a good thing. Um, and, but they are definitely – um, guys who definitely could uh, um, help us uh, during the season and definitely could be players who could be big time players in the future. Hey, Andre Wilson, Alexander from The Advocate. Sort of following up what we were talking about earlier with the depth along the defensive line, y'all seem to have so much confidence in your whole group there. Is it come from the depth at that, the, those positions or is there something else where that a confidence originates from? Um, it's just. That bond, that's 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 really the confidence in it. It's, it's that bond that we have uh, with each other. Um, just being able to trust each other. Um, that's really the, the main thing. And, you know, out, throughout the week, it was just like we, we stayed on each other, man. And Saturday, it just all came together. Saturday, just we were like, okay, we definitely, we got something going for our, for the defensive line. Like, it's, it's definitely something there. The way we played, um, we fed off the energy we brought. Um, it's like, it, it's definitely something there. So now it's just like building off off of that, building off of that, and just correcting the things that we need to correct and to come even more better as a de defensive line as a whole. 
Andre, obviously, B.J. broke out last year as a fast rusher and all that. But where's just he at as becoming, you know, like more of a three-down complete player? Because, you know, I guess where would you evaluate him right now? I mean, B.J. is, is good. Like I said, we, we all pride, on self, pride ourselves on, you know, not really so much having a, a weak link. We all can play, you know, all, all the downs, you know. Um, of course, there's, there's people who, you know, um, who have things they got to work on, just like I have stuff to, that I need to work on. But um, I think he's, he's going to be a great player um, for us this year and next year. You know, however long he's here, he's definitely going to be. Um, well, as, you know, guys like the young guys like Mason, um, um, J. Roy, they're all guys, you know, who can definitely contribute uh, with us. Hey, Andre, this is Garland at uh, Fox 8 in New Orleans. You just mentioned Mason's name. Um, Austin said he was gifted, he was a freak. Can you kind of give us uh, your, your own thoughts on, on uh, what Mason brings since he's only been in the program a short period of time and he's definitely made an impact on your line? Man, he's uh, definitely a freak, man. He's um, he different. Uh, he, he he brings something to the table. Um, coming in as a, a freshman is just like you don't see too many times, you know. And you know it's very rare that you see those type of guys that come in and you just just natural ability. That's all it is. It's natural ability. He's one of those guys you can't you can't tweak too much because you don't want to just mess up that natural ability. You know what I'm saying? You just try to find areas that you can look. This can help your game a little bit better if you add this to it. But um, he's definitely one of those guys, man. Great player, a great person. Um, he listens, takes coaching well. He wants to get better, you know. He wants to get better. So that's a another good thing about him. Great character dude. Um, that's a bright future for him. Andre Wilson Alexander from the Advocate again. Uh, behind you at the inside linebacker spot, Coach O said that they were going to try to kind of play all four guys, and there would be a lot of rotation. How did those sort of four Buck Strong, Jared Small, Dumont Clark, and Mike kind of complement each other? And how's it going just, you know, having all that rotation at that spot right now? Man, they, they're all ballers. Um, they're all ballers. Um, same same thing with the, like we said, with the defensive line. You don't want it to be no weakness. When somebody gets out, it's the same thing. And that's the same thing with them, whether who's in, they're rotating, or whatever the case may be. Um, it's just the same. And uh, they're a great group, um, a very large group. Uh, it's a lot of them. But um, they're definitely uh, some guys who are going to be great for us and could help us out a lot. So, um, 